friends, it's Miss Nemeth and Elsa here. Today we are going to read a story about a duck on a bike. Now, before we ha go ahead and read our story about duck on a bike, we are gonna talk a little bit about bike safety. And one of the things that you always have to make sure you have on when you're riding your bike is a helmet, right? Because a helmet is something that helps to protect your brain that's inside your head. So. Elsa is here today. She is going to show us how to properly fit a helmet. So I have Elsa's helmet here. Elsa likes to go on bike rides, but she doesn't usually drive the bike. Miss Nemeth drives the bike. So your helmet goes on your head, okay? And then there's a little strap. It goes underneath your chin. So we're gonna go under Elsa's chin and there's a little clip under there. Now, I'm gonna clip Elsa's chin, okay? Make sure it's snapped. Okay, now, I have to check the fit of the helmet, so I'm gonna kinda wiggle it around. Now see how it's wiggling around on Elsa? It's a little too big. So, on here, you can have a grown-up help you. You have to tighten the strap up a little bit. Okay, make sure your ears come out through the little corners there. See, when I shake my head, my helmet does not slide around. So you're gonna tighten up the strap just a little bit, okay? And then your helmet will be on nice and safe and you are ready to ride your bike. Okay, so Elsa's gonna get a cookie because she's being a very good girl and a very good helper today when she's trying on her little bike helmet. So Elsa gets a little cookie. You want your cookie, Elsa? All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get started reading Duck on a Bike. Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. Oh, I love this story. Our words. Oh, I see streamers on the bike. Look at David Shannon made this book for Emma. And then the duck on the bottom, he says, quack. Hmm. Where are we when we find Duck's bike? What place are we at? Are we at the zoo? Are we at the gas station? We are at the, what place is that? The farm, right? One day down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on and began to ride. At first he rode very slowly and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Oh, Duck forgot he's got to put on his helmet, right? Sometimes when you first start riding a bike, it might be a little hard and wobbly. Duck rode past the, what animal's that? The cow and waved to her. Hello, cow, said Duck. What did cow say? What, what sound does a cow make? Moo, said cow. But what she thought was, a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Right? Cows are like, ducks don't ride bikes. Then duck rode past sheep. Hello, sheep, said duck. What did sheep say? Bah, said sheep. But what she thought was, He's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Duck was riding better now, and he rode past... Elsa, who's that? The dog! <laughs> Hello, dog, said Duck. What did the dog say? Woof, woof, said dog. But what he thought was... That is a mighty neat trick, right? Elsa loves watching tricks. Then Duck rode past the cat. Hello, cat, said Duck. Meow, said cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. And oh, I hear Miss Nemeth's cat is underneath her chair being silly. Those are her little bells. She says, Miss Nemeth, why do you have your helmet on, right? Duck paddled a little faster. 
and he rode past horse. Hello, horse, said duck. Nee, said horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, duck. Duck rang his bell as he rode toward chicken. Ding, ding, ding. Hello, chicken, said duck. Gluck, gluck, said chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, duck. Then duck rode past goat. Hello, goat, said duck. Ma, said goat. But what he thought was, what do you think goat is thinking? Hmm. I'd really like to eat that bike, right? Because goats are always eating things they're not supposed to. Duck stood on the seat and rode past pig. Ooh, is that safe standing on the seat like that? Uh, maybe if you have a helmet, you could try it, right? Hello, pig, said duck. What did the pig say? Oink, oink, said pig. But what they thought was, duck is such a show off, right? He's doing tricks and they're like, what a show off. Oh my goodness. Then duck rode no hands past mouse. Hello, mouse said duck. Squeak, squeak, said mouse. But what he thought was, ah, I wish I could ride a bike just like duck. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry, they didn't see duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Now look at here come all of the kids riding on their bikes. See if while you're on this page, you can find the kids that are wearing helmets, right? They're wearing helmets so they can stay safe and protect their brains. It's always important to be safe when we have different kinds of transportation. Oh! Wait a minute. What are the animals looking at? Hmm, the kids all went inside the house. The animals are all looking at something. What do you think they're looking at? Uh-oh. Look at that picture. What are they doing? Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. Oh, no. <laughs> They're all taking the kids' bikes to ride. Then they put the bikes back by the house. And no one knew that on that afternoon, there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and... Who's that? A duck on a bike. The end. And look at what is Duck looking at. What do you think he's going to ride on next? The tractor. And a tractor is another thing that goes. All right, friends. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Make sure if the snow stops outside that you get a chance to go and ride your bike. Make sure to wear a helmet, right, to keep your brain safe. Always ride with a grown-up. I'm going to share um, in our... our attachment area, I'm going to put a fun game that you can play. It's about a lizard named Izzy, and Izzy likes to stay safe when um, using different kinds of transportation, like bikes or knows how to stay safe around cars. So there's lots of games for you to play on there. I'm also going to share a coloring page that you can color. It's all about wearing a helmet, and that's with our friend Izzy too. And the last thing that I'm going to put down there that I thought looked super fun is you can make your own traffic light sandwich this weekend. So you can have all the different colors like red and yellow and green on your traffic light and then you can eat it. All right, friends, I hope you have a super weekend and we will see you on Monday. Elsa, you wanna say goodbye? Say bye, friends. Bye, miss you.